hey guys welcome back to my channel this is miss petali and i hope you guys have had a great weekend mine was amazing because i was indoors okay but i left on sunday for say like two hours but most of the time i was indoors just relaxing sleeping because the week had been so so busy yes and finishing up some work i had to type out and also just cleaned up my room so it's it was a good weekend for me it was very easy nothing much going on i'm really trying not to look at myself in this video and look at the that small round thing that recorder but this makeup though anyway guys today i i was doing this makeup look yeah, it was inspired by what? I don't know. I just wanted to do something green. So this was it. Anyway, guys, welcome again to my channel. And today is Girl Talk Monday. So today we are going to be talking about trust. <sighs> yes, yes. Take a moment and breathe. Because I know most of us i can say like seven or say eight out of ten girls have trust issues or have had trust issues in the past and uh so we just want to talk about it and see what the bible says about trust and i'm one of those you know eight out of ten girls who've had trust issues uh i don't Sometimes you really don't know how these things enter your life, you know, it just you just realize oh by the way I don't trust so easily or It's not My favorite thing to do trusting people so sometimes we can't trace where we can't trace How all these things all these trust issues how they start or where they come from but I would say that trust is a very powerful thing for someone to say i trust you like the times when someone has told me i trust you it has made me feel like i owe this person loyalty because of you know their trust in me and sometimes that trusting being trusted has felt really good because when someone is comfortable with you it just makes you feel like you know you're you're being a pillar in someone's life so some of us i know have have been through a lot in life say probably rape um just you know uh maybe we've grown up in like broken homes where we've seen like our parents just quarreling most of the time or fighting most of the time or maybe we've gone through heartbreaks or we've been dumped and such things they just or maybe death has happened suddenly to somebody in your life or sickness and such things they just leave you you know with a lot of questions and say even the people who die who are close to us we feel like you know we we trusted them but then they left us so these trust issues they come they can literally come from any experience any bad experience and sadly sometimes we we build our whole lives from from those bad experiences to the extent that it's it's not easy for us to move on or to trust again because we feel like everything that's happening or everyone that comes our way we associate them to that bad experience and it's 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 i know it's really hard to come out of things uh or situations that involve trust i'm personally you know very aware of this even in my own life like having those friends that you really trusted and then you told them something and then they went and told somebody else and then it's just you know it's just complicated and then they deny it and yeah it's like friendship just for me i'm actually those people if if i trust you with something like so personal and then you breach that trust and then you act like you don't know and I know the truth it's like our friendship just changes from from that point i will pray and forgive and let go but it will take god for me to trust you again let me just be honest and i find like that you know it's it's impossible to actually be friends like really close 
friends or be intimate with somebody with the absence of trust. Like trust is like the bonding glue or the adhesive that uh, holds together relationships, holds together people. So in one way or another, trust is inevitable when it comes to, to relationships, to friendships. And you know, the good thing in life is that you don't have to trust anybody. You choose the people that you trust. And I, during the week, I saw this quote. Uh, someone had said that, you know, it's this thing that people say that men are trash. Someone was, was talking about it and saying, it's not that men are trash, it's your choices of men that's not so cool. And I, I actually think that Sometimes that statement really makes sense that it's not that I I can comfortably say that they are not they are not trash because we have fathers we have brothers we have friends who are really good people yeah but to say that everyone else is bad because of one experience that you had is is not going to help you in any way it's not going to make your life any better and sometimes you know we feel like we are justified to hold on to that pain because we were hurt but let me say life is so unpredictable and people are even more unpredictable so it's hard to predict hurt it's hard to because I would tell you, the people who've been betrayed or heartbroken, they didn't think that those people would do those things to them at some point. But it just happens. It's just, I don't know, I think it's just the way life is. It's so hard to predict some things. Though I know there are things that are patterns. There are things that when you read and you study and get information and pray, you're able to avoid them. But then again, people are not perfect. You'll never find a perfect person. Neither are you perfect. Even you and me, we've hurt people. We've broken people's trust. So, I don't know. It's just unpredictable. People are unpredictable. Even the people who hurt me personally, I can say, maybe it was not their intention to hurt me. Maybe it was not my intention to hurt people. But it's just the way we are. It's It's human nature to be to be imperfect so we we have to face these issues with trust we have to come to a place where we see that honestly yes and accept that yes i do have trust issues why do i have trust issues is it because i have been hurt before and i'm afraid of being hurt again is it because someone else close to me was hurt and i feel like it's going to happen you know and it's not that love itself is a risk loving anybody loving you know a partner a spouse a friend even a family member it's a risk because sometimes you don't get the love back sometimes they hurt you so badly but it doesn't mean that love is a bad thing it doesn't mean that loving people is a bad thing so the same thing with the trust trust is a risk it's just you know it's just inevitable for any relationship, for any healthy relationship, trust has to exist in that relationship. So it's not it's not a, a guarantee that when you trust someone, they will 100% never let you down. There are days they will just not be able to come through for you. But that doesn't mean that trusting is a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's actually not even a weakness. It's just that you through the experiences of life you learn who to trust you learn who to let into your life you check the patterns that have repeated themselves in your social life and, or in your friendship so that you guard your heart because you only have one heart if you give it out to any everyone and anyone by the time you are say like you are supposed to meet your spouse or by the time god is bringing uh, good people into your life your heart is already been so damaged that it's hard to trust again and you see without that trust it's hard to build a relationship that's going anywhere so my appeal to all of us is to check ourselves and actually begin to address this issue of trust in our lives because whether we like it or not it will affect how we interact with people around us we will think that it's safe to stay closed in but that staying closed in will keep us from Tapping into very beautiful friendships, very, you know, getting to know the other person because the other person will also not want to 
you know pour the lives into you or share about themselves if you're not also willing to do the same thing with them it's like a two-way traffic so this is my appeal to us again that we begin to check our lives and see uh, where there has been pain that we've not given to god we can begin to ask god to check our hearts because sometimes the trust issues that we've we've uh, we've uh, experienced that the issues we've experienced that have led us to just have trust issues they affect our relationship with god to an extent where we feel like god is like everybody else they will let us he will let us down or he doesn't care about us or he's judging us you know those kind of things and it will keep you from just having such an intimate relationship with god and that's why it's important for us to come to a place where we can admit that we've had the trust issues once twice or we have them but there's hope like it's not the end of the road because god is able to bring us to a place where our hearts are free to trust again that even when i get hurt i'm a, I'm, I'm 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 easy to just let it go to heal and to trust again it's just i don't know how to say it it's just you know, it happens, you get hurt, you learn the lessons, but it should never keep you from from staying alive, from trusting, from believing that, you know, there are good people out here, there are people with good intentions, there's a God out here who cares about you. And probably we can read some scriptures about trust from the Bible. I'll start with one of my favorite portions of the scripture that's from Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6 the Bible says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path my main focus is in verse 5 trust in the Lord with all your heart meaning I cannot say i trust god if i'm trusting god with part of my heart or quarter of my heart like i'm trusting god but i have plan b's and plan c and plus and plan d you know that doesn't show that i trust god it means that i partly trust god but i trust in my own efforts another scripture is jeremiah chapter 7 let me just quickly open it Eh, 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 eh. Oh, here we are. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7 to 8. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters which spreads out its wings by the river. And it will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green and will not be anxious in the day of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. So this scripture tells us that if I trust in the Lord, I will be like a tree that's planted by the waters. I'll spread my roots by the river and I will not fear when the heat comes. Uh, let's read another one. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5. Proverbs, Proverbs. Where are you? Here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5. The Bible says, Every word, hallelujah, every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who put their trust in Him. Can I get an amen? Every word of God is so pure, is pure. He's a shield to those who put their trust in God, mm, 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 in Him. Finally, Proverbs chapter 1, 18. I mean Psalms chapter 1, 18, not Proverbs. Pardon me. One eighteen verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Man, I think these scriptures are so, they're so direct. Fast. And this is a fact that God is pure. God is perfect. God would never, ever hurt you like people have hurt you. He will, 
he will never not in this lifetime not the god i know he is faithful to the latter he is faithful god is god is faithful god is true god is true the enemy plants these lies in our head when things bad things happen to us and we feel like god had a ha, would have stopped them from happening why did god let it happen but let me tell you that god is true and god is faithful and god is a kind of father that will not give you stone when you ask for bread he is not that kind of father god is true so whatever lies that the enemy has planted in our minds to lie to us that god is like human beings god hurts people i pray that the Holy Spirit through the blood of Jesus will just break down those mindsets to nothing because those are lies of the devil. God is the truest person. God, I cannot even say it enough that God is true. He's so patient. He cares about us so much. He cares about our feelings. He cares about us so much. So I pray that if you have been having trust issues and they have spilled over to your relationship with God, that you will begin to start studying the word of God to understand the character of God. Because once you understand the character, the character of God and know him as a pure God, then you'll understand that he will never inflict pain on you because he wants to see you hurt. He may allow some seasons to happen in your life but even in those seasons he holds you so dear to him and that's why psalm 91 says that he who dwells in the shelter of the most high shall abide let's just read that that scripture He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Meaning, you know, even when we go through storms of life, this is a secret that I have learned. In those storms of life, God provides a shelter for you that you could be going through this chaos, but you are so safe and your heart is so much at peace, you know, because, because of the environment that God puts you in because of trusting in him. You know, people like Moses, Abraham, I can say we are privileged because we are we are knowing God from what others knew about him, that we even have the Bible today. People like Kina, Kina Joseph, Kina Daniel, you see, they had never seen this God. They had never, or, or probably, probably Daniel had known about him and David. Let me say, like Abraham, he had never seen this God, never heard him. Moses had never heard him before, you know. And then God begins to speak to them and give them instruction. Do you think it was easy for them to just say, oh, yes, I will obey? No, it took so much. It took so much courage. It took so much strength for them to just believe God. And you see, God did not let them down, not even once, not even once. He was faithful to Abraham. He was faithful to Moses. So I pray that God will teach us his character so that Exodus 14, 14 will be how we live our lives. We will learn to be still and know that he's God because I know so-and-so is my friend and you not let me down. Sometimes it just gives you peace to know that ah, if I give so and so this responsibility, she will do it because I trust her. I trust her to do it. I trust her to do it. So it's the same thing with God. And and you see, if if we do not check our lives to see where we've had these trust issues or whether we still have them in our lives, it will keep us from enjoying intimacy with God. Moses was intimate with God because he trusted God. Abraham was intimate with Jesus was most intimate with God that even on the cross he knew that God was with him even much as he said you know my my lord my lord why have you forsaken me deep within his heart he knew that he and his father were one and he trusted God even when he was persecuted, even when he didn't understand, you know, even when he was asking, if is there any other way that this could be done? Is there any other way that mankind can be saved? Deep within him was so much trust in who God was because he had learned his father. He had learned 
the character of God. So that's that's how relationships grow. When we learn the other person, we begin to know that we can trust them or or we can depend on them. You know, these things that happen to us in life, they make us feel like we cannot depend on people. But at the same time, no one is an island. I can say I'm here because of of people allowing God to use them to just pour into my life and teach me this and teach me that, you know. So it's not a bad thing to have discernment or to wait before you can fully trust. But never let the enemy cause you to live a lie all your life that you can never trust people, that you can never, you know, uh, be be fully trusted or you can never just give yourself into a relationship uh, with God, with people and be vulnerable. It's a risk and nobody, you know, not everybody just wants to feel vulnerable. I do not, I love to, to be in control of my circumstance and to know what's going to happen, you know, even in the future, like I like to just be aware. But sometimes, you know, just working with God has taught me I will not know everything. <laughs> when he says I'm leading you, sometimes there's a fire ahead. And he has not said, you know, there's a fire, but he has said I'm leading you. So for what I know, I will trust you for the part. I will trust him for the path that he said I'm leading you through it all. And let me just read as I finish a poem I came across on the internet about trusting God. I told God, I'm scared. He nodded, I know. Just wait till you're ready before you let go. And then I decided my fears would not win. And I spread my wings and I leaned into the wind. I love this poem so much. It's by Anne Peterson. And it just, I think this poem is just me most of the time, every day, I think. I feel so scared to to jump into new places and new environments and to do new things. But whenever I get that assurance from God and that peace from him, I feel like, Yes, I'm afraid, but I'll not let my fear keep me from seeing what's on the other side. And I invite you that from today we'll begin to live, you know, we will live so wildly in love with Jesus. We will live so so alive to the extent that even if people hurt us, even if people, you know, don't turn out to be who we thought they are, those will not be closed doors. Our hearts will still remain open to love people unconditionally and to understand that no one is perfect and we are all just work in progress and that even more we will learn how to trust in God and depend on him, especially when we do not know where we should go, when we do not know the next step to make, when we are not in control of the circumstances around us, that we will just learn the power of just trust. You know, like the way uh, toddlers are usually tossed up by their parents and they go and they come back down smiling because they're so confident that their fathers or their mothers will not let them go or let them fall on the ground. That's how our trust in God should be. That's how our hearts should be. That when God throws me up or throws me off a cliff, I know that because he's God, he's at the end, he's just going to do something, you know. Like those movies that you are thinking that the main actor is going to die and then just something happens and they're saved. And then you're like, you know, because it was so close. <laughs> so, so close. So I pray. I pray that we will be able to just trust in God that way. Much despite the things that we have gone through, the heartbreaks we've gone through, the, the difficult situations that we've gone through, the betrayals that we've gone through, that we'll be able to trust God again, that we'll be able to trust people again and understand that people are not perfect. So just learning to love without expectations, learning to trust without you know, expectations so that if they don't come through, you're not left in a place where you are getting depressed because so-and-so did not come through. Just trust God before you trust men, before you trust yourself. Put your trust in God because he will never disappoint you. He's the only person who I know for, for sure will never let us down or hurt us or 
give us off to things that would hurt us so i hope you enjoyed this video i'm feeling so challenged myself to just go back into my relationship with god and check are there places that i was afraid to trust god because i felt like he was going to give me something less than what i expected but yet that his character tells us that he has plans for giving us prosperity and not disaster sometimes we run away from god because we feel like he's going to give us less or he just doesn't get it or he's going to you know give us just something that we have to take for the sake but i have slowly learned that you know god is so perfect he's so perfect that if i don't see it at at the moment and i trust him so i get to those places where i'm just like wow god i didn't see it when this whole process was trust it was starting and i know i said i trusted you but i didn't think it was going to come out like this this nice or beautiful so god has your best interest at heart no matter what no matter what situation he has your best interest at heart and do not allow the enemy to confine you in chains of fear because of the, your past experiences and make you a slave of fear that you're you cannot trust, you cannot live, you cannot just, you know, be you because you're afraid of what people will think. You're afraid of the recurring, that, that experience that you went through will, uh, will recur. I pray that God will deliver you. So I hope that this video was edifying to you and I pray that we will become more whole every day. We'll become, say a word like holer and holer. <laughs> But we'll become more whole as we know Christ, as we read the word of God, as we pray, as we interact with our fellow brethren, as we interact with people. We will go out there as whole people, healed from our past experiences and understanding that these past experiences, they are in the past. Do, do not ever let your past experience rob you of your present or your future because, you know, life is beautiful in the hands of God. Life is exciting. Life is is an adventure when you learn to trust in God and to lean on God. And just to, to let you know, you'll never know everything. Nobody knows everything. Nobody can have so much closure. Only God does. So the more we trust him, the more, you know, the more we know, the more peace we have in our lives. So, yes. That's it for today and I hope you were blessed. So I'll see you guys in the next video and I love you guys so much. Let me know what you guys think about this issue of trust because uh, I personally believe that people can trust again. Yes, I believe. I believe with the right, you know, with the right approach to what happened, with the right uh people around us with the word of God and with prayer and with help from the Holy Spirit. You can trust again. You can heal again, again and again and again and again and again. It's possible. Toodles, my people. I love you so much. See you in the next video.